Adding dimensions in an isometric drawing can be challenging without the right technique. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to add dimensions to isometric objects in AutoCAD. To achieve this, we'll leverage the UCS, User Coordinate System, and the View Cube. Open AutoCAD and start a new drawing. In the workspace switching, ensure that drafting and annotation is checked. Set limits, lower left corner to 00, zero and upper right corner to 5050. Zoom and set to extents. Type layer and create three layers named solid lines, hidden lines, and dim. For solid lines, set the thickness to 0 0.50. This layer is used for drawing the object. For dim, set the color to green. This layer is used for all dimensions. For hidden lines, click Line Type. Load new style, find hidden, then click OK. Select the added hidden style and click OK. To set up the dimension style, type dimsty and select modify. Go to fit and set the scale to 4. Go to primary units, set all precision to 0.00 and check all leading and trailing. Go to Lines, set baseline spacing, extension beyond dim lines, and offset from origin to 0 0.3. Go to Text and set offset from dim line to 0 0.2. Set text height to 0.25. Go to symbols and arrows and set arrow size to 0.2. Set center marks to line. In the status bar, ensure line weight dynamic mode, polar tracking, and object snap are turned on. Later, we will also turn on auto snap. In object snap, ensure that the midpoint is checked. If line weight or other options are not visible, go to customization to enable them.
click the bottom right corner of the view cube. The view cube will be our reference for top view, front view, etc. Zoom and extents. In the Layers drop-down, choose Solid Lines before drawing the object. If you are going to add dimensions, choose Dim. Enable the line weight. Use the Line command, starting at 1010. Follow the green line to ensure the lines are parallel to the X and Y axes. To draw a circle, select the UCS and locate it in the corner of the object. Change the orientation of the x-axis from its original position to the y-axis. Change the orientation of the y-axis to the z-axis as shown. Use the same method later for adding dimensions. Type C for circle, then D for dimension, and type 5 enter. For hidden lines, change the layer to hidden lines. To reset the UCS to its original position, click the drop-down near the view cube and choose WCS. You can adjust the hidden line weight scale by using LTS. Let's now add dimensions, relocating the UCS as needed.
Let's finalize the drawing. I forgot one hidden line in one dimension. Congratulations, you've drawn an isometric object with dimensions. In the next videos, we will draw a 3D object.